The S-500 is an even more powerful weapon than its predecessor, the S-400, and is capable of bringing new capabilities to Russian air defenses that no other country in the world currently has. The most important features of the S-500 DAR include the use of the modernized 77N6N and 77N6N1 interceptors, which can be used to intercept enemy hypersonic missiles. Observers also noted the S-500's ability to hit ballistic missiles at a distance of 600 km and hit at least 10 missiles flying at hypersonic speeds. It is worth highlighting the system's ability to reach satellites in low Earth orbit, hypersonic unmanned aerial vehicles. This, as columnist Eunice Starr points out, is a very big innovation in the field of air defense. Another very important capability of the S-500, which is the focus of foreign observers, is the ability to work at ultra-high altitude, including near space. By the way, Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke about this, describing a new anti-aircraft missile system. It turns out that Russia, a foreign observer, commented on statements about the S-500 complex as a crushing blow to the prestige of the United States, becoming the first country in the world to develop and adopt a capable air defense system. Hypersonic Missile Combat This is a major advance of the same United States, which even hypersonic missiles have not had time to adopt. So far, only China and Russia have hypersonic weapons, and US plans to accelerate the introduction of hypersonic missiles into operations have not been implemented due to technical difficulties. As such, the S-500 is a much more modern and powerful system than the S-400, and although the capabilities of the latter's air defense system should not be underestimated, the S-500 is still superior. This is probably why there has been no talk of exporting the S-500 to other countries so far, even though the S-400 has been successfully exported, including to buyers who are unreliable from a political point of view as a member of NATO Turkey. But Russia is in no rush to sell the S-500, and this is understandable. Moscow wants to be the sole owner of such an air defense system.